Let's look at the orange economy. What is the orange economy? I know that's what you're thinking. That's what you're asking. And it's a very good question. The fact is, there is no clear definition. If you go on Google and look for a crisp, concise definition of the orange economy, you won't find one. Why? Because it's a relatively new concept. It embraces various things, and I'll explain more later. So if you're confused and not sure what the orange economy is, don't worry. It's not you. We're all confused. It's not yet clear. It's becoming clear, and that's okay. But I can tell you with confidence that it certainly includes within it what I would call the creative and digital industries. And this is the area that I work in most often, helping businesses in the creative and digital sector. What is that? Well, these creative and digital industries, businesses, are advertising, architecture, arts and crafts, design, designer fashion, film and video, interactive leisure software, music, performing arts, publishing, software and computer games, television and radio. There's quite a lot there. And what they have in common is that there is a, some kind of artistic creativity at the heart. The motivation often of those owners is the artistic creativity involved in all those businesses. But they need help with business models. They need help not with uh, A creativity, but with I creativity. And that's where I help by helping them to think about creativity in the business office as well as in the studio. The picture is actually even more confusing because there's a concept called the creative economy. The creative economy certainly includes the creative and digital industries, but the, the term was coined by an English author who wrote the book called Creative Economy, John Hawkins. And he includes all kinds of things where there is innovation and intellectual property. And so, as well as everything I've mentioned already, that would include pharmaceuticals, which are protected by patents and the whole world of science, which is creative in its own way. So that's a very wide definition of the creative economy. And then UNESCO talks about the cultural economy. UNESCO is not really concerned that much with the, the big businesses, because Apple actually is a creative business, but that's very commercial. UNESCO's focus is much more on heritage, arts and crafts, protecting identity, and those kinds of things. So they prefer the term cultural economy, which overlaps with this. And then there's yet another one, which is the experience economy, a term used in Scandinavia, particularly in Sweden. And the experience economy does include design and architecture, film and video, and tourism, because the focus is on the experience that the consumer gets. And I like that term because it focuses on what the customer gets out of it rather than what we put into it. And I think it's fair to say that the orange economy is a very broad term that embraces all of these. It's a very broad term. And I give credit to those people who worked on that concept. My colleague and friend Felipe Buitrago was centrally involved and is still involved as special advisor to El Presidente, Signor Ivan Duque. And I congratulate both of them. But right now they're working on exactly how they're going to use all this to bring about positive changes in the Colombian economy. So it's the developing concept and the practice of it is developing, but it's coming soon, so watch this space.